since 1949 and the nation rallies around the recovery efforts. The Royal Mile has a facelift with a brand new Lido and Britain celebrates the establishing of a singular national health service, meaning that healthcare is free at the point of need for everyone. <laughs> Take that, capitalists! Ah, oh, it's 1949 and the world's starting to heal. The Royal Mile's making some serious money and it's now a genuine competitor to Blackpool. So as a result, we need to continue the upgrade works to the park and Chacho needs to make a mess to do that. And this, this is the mess you're looking at right now. This is going to make no sense to you at all right now, but we are going to go back and watch me make this mess in the montage. So let's talk this through, shall we? The focus of this episode is all on the Lido. So in the 40s and 50s, Lidos became a big thing. So as a result, we need to change our concrete based swimming pool into a water based entertainment complex as we would call it in 2023 because we're douchebags in 2023 so this is what we're going to be doing this is our main focus of course there's other changes that i'm going to show you because you've seen some pretty controversial things already uh, so in this area here there's going to be uh, like an animal show don't know what animal it's going to be yet but they've become a thing at this time this is like going to be an attraction there's a boat ride here that makes no sense right now i don't know what this is going to look like but hey it's going to look like this in some capacity we're going to have a seating area for the main water show and then this is roughly where a second entrance is going to be i do need to make sense of how this is all going to fit into the bank along here i don't quite know what that's uh, what that's going to look like elsewhere there are some changes that have happened this is probably the most controversial one the kiddie pool has gone and i think so will the flower beds because we've put dodgems in instead remember we're going through rapid mass expansion so they are going to be ruthless with the stuff that they're that they're ripping out so that's what they've done here there's another new ride in here i need to sort the pathing out because i just whatever and i've gone through and i've done a few queue line extensions as well so these guys are completely stuck for the minute <laughs> But the queue lines all needed to be extended because we are now getting way busier and some of them actually need to have a queue line to start with. So this is now a thing. Uh, I've also changed the woody uh, queue line so we can now pack more people into the space. We did say that that was going to happen. And then down here, I've actually had to reconfigure the Roctopus because it turns out this is quite a popular ride and uh, we need more queue space. So that's what I've done here. Uh, and then lastly, there's a couple of new rides in the area. So we've got the relocated merry-go-round and we've also got this bad boy is back. Turns out they weren't designed in the 70s. They, these were a thing in the 30s, just in a different format. So we could have actually kept it, but it's okay. It's back. It's the new, new for 1949 attraction. It's all good. And then the stuff that's going on over here, well, that's for next week's episode so this is uh where we're at at the moment let me show you how we got here and then let me show you where we're going <laughs>
Well, as you've seen, I've been making a mess, but I think I'm probably a bit of a pause point where I can show you around everything that's happening because we've got this complete Lido expansion to talk about. We have this absolutely grotesque makeover going on up here. I mean, it's so disgusting. I love it. It's great. Uh, and then we've got this little, uh, this little development here. I think there's a deco in here. Deco, deco. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk Lido. So the first thing that I've um, that I've put in is the animal area. So I think this is going to be dolphins. I need to do a lot more research on how dolphins would have been kept, particularly in the 1950s. I don't know if they need hard shelters, etc., etc. So what I've done is I've just fenced off the area for now because you don't want people jumping in. I mean, in 1949, people are still disciplined. They haven't learned how to be obnoxious yet. So everything is all good. Like just a small fence, and it's all it's all good. 2023, this would be like proper. Don't die fencing, anti-climb and all sorts. Uh, this this is going to be some kind of like maintenance area, feed area, keeper hut, whatever that may be. Again, I need to find out how this is how this is going to work. And I did decide to reject the idea of a second entrance here. It didn't fit the flow of the park to have that in here. So actually what I've done is I've just continued the key wall along here. I need to find a strategy for this because can't change it because of the path i might need to take the path out and put that in i tidy that up it's tomorrow me's problem uh, so in this area i've put in the concrete structure for the sunshade now this is uh miami marina i want to say inspired um but i was going to copy it but then i thought actually no I like these exposed concrete beams here. So in 1949, around, a bit, around about this sort of time, uh, Brutalist is starting to be a thing. So Art Deco is on its way out. Well, it's not on its way out. It kind of merged with Brutalism. And Brutalism is all about thick concrete structures. Everything you can imagine. Barbican in London is probably the prime example in the UK that we've got of anything that's brutalist. So this is kind of what we're going for here. It's all about creating this utopia with concrete because this is the new modern uh, piece of construction kit that we've got. So this is what I've done here. Um, I'm kind of digging how this is actually. Um, because I've managed to put these, uh, so I've managed to put the concrete on the roof at such a slight angle that it creates these lines. And that's exactly what it'd be. They're concrete slabs that are laid down and then just seamed, uh, the seamed, oh my god, the seams are filled. Uh, and it just, yeah, Brutalist is great. Um, it's great to work with. It's difficult to work with in Planet Coaster because we don't have the pieces to be able to do it properly and be able to do it justice. But this is ultimately what we're uh, what we're looking for. And then, of course, I've just put all of the um, the seating and stuff down. It's a copy of the stuff that we've got up here, right? Well, I've just put all the seating down here. I've put the steps down as if it's stadium seating. Put a wall along the back here to stop everybody from coming down here. So you're sort of directed down to the stairs at least. And then of course I've got the access stairs down this way. So um that's what we're that's what we're going for here. And yes, we do for the first time have handrails. Woohoo! <laughs> They're now a thing everybody. We're starting to put the development up. And by the way, don't die signs come in in the 60s. So well actually they come in, in the 50s but they're coming. <laughs> it's okay. They're coming. Uh, over in the boat area then, I've just put out the course. This would be a concrete course. Uh, and it's, again, it's brutalist. So it'd be concrete slabs that are lowered into uh, lowered into the water. They don't have to drain the lake to build it or anything. It's really clever how they build it. So what I've done here is I've, I've given like this idea of the concrete slabs. I've taken a lot of cues on this one from uh, Dreamland in Margate because their boat ride, boat ride kind of did this actually. Um, so I've got some touching up and stuff that I need to do, but yeah, this is roughly how it would be. And then the, the photos that I'm seeing of uh, Dreamland, it's kind of a mixed bag. Like on some of the photos, it's a completely open pool where the boats can go around. And it looks like there's a little bit like the um, dodgems operate. There's like a, a mesh on the top that's electric, electric, conducts electricity and then the boats are underneath it. But other pictures I've seen is this where they've actually created a channel and they filled it in with grass and gardens. So that's what I'm going for here, uh, the grass and gardens. So that's why this is green. I don't know if I'm going to keep it grass. Um, I haven't quite decided, but I have put it as a building. You've seen me do it. I put it as a building so I can change the color of it easy if I want to change it to dirt. So that's what I'm going for here. But ultimately, you've got a bit of a loading station here. You wouldn't need a queue. You wouldn't need queue lines. You wouldn't need anything like that. It's not that kind of attraction. People just come across the bridge, jump in a boat, and off they go. Uh, you wouldn't need, like, 
stuff in this area there's not it's not a station to decorate or anything like that there's no like cover to put up or nothing like that uh, this is really simple and it's it's supposed to be like that by design then you've got the kids pool that's uh, that's sitting here this has taken on many many different forms and many different locations some of which i didn't even bother to record but that's what we're going for here. The kids' pool is in here. Put the fence around, stop them from jumping into the uh, uh, jumping into the boats. And you do actually want to have a ledge here, uh, otherwise kids can't get out of the pool in an emergency, right? So you want them to at least be able to get out of the pool uh, and still be safe. Of course, just need to touch up and stuff here. Uh, I've put the key wall along this way. I wasn't going to do this. I was actually going to keep it a natural bank. But with the stuff that's coming in the next episode in this area... It feels like the key wall needs to carry on and carry on round. Uh, so I've actually started to put the uh, put the key wall in. Now we move on to the grotesque update part. We're going to start with the bit that I love. Like I, oh, this has come together so 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 nicely. This is so superiorly superior art deco. I love it. Like it's just all of the open brickwork. It's the white panel. It's it's pastel colours. Um, it's brilliant. I love it. Like this is it's not finished by the way. Um, it's nearly finished, but it's not finished But this is what we're this is what we're looking at. It's just uh, yeah, it's like brutalism meets uh, Meets art deco and then of course we've just copied it the other side. I I don't like the OCD in me is it's not liking this but it's done by design so this would just be a retrofit of the building they wouldn't change anything in the building the only thing that i have changed or i do need to change is the wi other windows that are on here they were originally on the corners that's something they would have taken uh, the opportunity to change so i just need to put the new windows in and that's why i've not done that wall yet and the other side as well that wall there but i dig how this is how this is turning out like i like it um and then like when you get the view of, of the stuff from this side it just it just brings it all together it just makes it look a lot friendlier and a lot lovelier uh, so the dodgems so the dodgems 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 i'm taking um cues oh i don't remember the park it's next to the jackrabbit roller coaster you guys were, were you guys were able to tell me in the comments which park it was apologies my american friends i don't remember the park it was um but the uh the dodgems are in and I'm taking cues from their building. Now, this has to be so tall because of these things. Oh, Frontier, why did you make these so decorated? <laughs> you make it a pain in the ass to work with. Uh, but hey, it actually works out because I wanted this to be a grotesque makeover. So that's what we're going for here. I need to put a sign on the front. Um, and then I just need to put all of the, the usual stuff down underneath it. But these barriers, these came, to, these came to life just randomly. And I quite like how they are. Um... So these bits underneath it, by the way, they'll be covered by the fact that you've got uh, the um, stone and whatever that's coming in. So they, they would actually be hidden and stuff. But yeah, so randomly pulled together. But I love it. It's great. Um, I wish we just had the ability to remove the awning of the dodgers. But hey, it is what it is. We're not going to fight over it. We know. We know. We know. <laughs> then all oh, these poor go-karts. What have I done to these go-karts? <laughs> I need to do touching up and stuff of the maintenance area. This all needs moving and it all needs like cleaning up and stuff. But it's just so hideous. I love it. Like, yes, I'm here for it. Uh, over in the um, merry-go-round, I've put in uh, the same fencing as the go-karts. It felt like the, there was like a consistent bit that we were using in this area. So you've got uh, you've got the fencing and stuff coming over here. And then I have extended the... Um, the Swift Drifters queue line as well, so this is now uh, this is now a thing. Put in a load of um, games units. I think I need to change the colours because this colour is developing into a blue, yellow, and white and pink area. So these probably don't fit in terms of colours. And then our new roto, a roto Ferris wheel, whatever it's called, is now happily sitting there, uh, testing away, ready for ready for its first guests. Um, our train station. It's doing much better now it's got a longer queue this is this is like sitting far more comfortably so as you can see this is all good uh, and then our hurricane is now sitting over here as a, oh, it's not a hurricane is it our oh my memory nowadays is just terrible <laughs> i'm still quite unwell so it's fine you can probably hear it in my voice this thing anyway um it's been it's had a color change and it's had <laughs> quality content from chacho uh it's had a color change and it's had a bit of an update and i am actually going to take the opportunity to uh pave this over so um 
these are the, all of the uh, the gravel and stuff is going to go. All of the uh, flowers and whatever the overgrowth is going to go. And I'm actually going to I'm going to make this make this a thing. In case you're wondering what this sign is, by the way, it's it's uh, so I can um, I hide them underneath the ground so that I can uh, deck, uh, direct people. Oh my god! Why can't I talk? I can direct people around the park, and they're all like advertising different destinations and stuff, so you better, they don't clump up and whatever. Anyway, I'm literally word salading and i'm not even doing that very well so i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna carry on i'm gonna carry on building i'll see you in a minute Are you guys first time in this series the done for now stamp needs to come out and it's coming out because i still got a bit of touching up work to do on the back end here and yes that's what she said get your mind out the gutter you filthy animals uh, but what that does mean is some of the stuff in this uh, back part of the park is not quite ready for stuff but you'll see that in a minute you'll see what i mean but ultimately we've got our lido expansion and I love it. It is obnoxious and it sits so there on the sight line. I mean, it would be torn out in the future, right? Because it's just so outrageously obnoxious. But for now, it's 1949 and this is what they've invested their money in. And my God, have they invested some money. <laughs> We've got dolphins. Um, so I chose the dolphins. They, I've used them before. I use them in the aquarium in Grosvenor Gardens. Uh, they come from the workshop, so they don't perfectly loop on their animations. It's not my animation. I'm not going to complain about it. So guys, you shouldn't either. Just deal with it. Um, but this is what I did with the actual area itself. We had a bit of an open area here, so I've made it into a a seating area and a sun lounger area it's not a vip area or anything like that it's just there for the sake of being there and that's what i've uh, that's what i've done with that then on the actual awning itself we've got a bloody great big blue lagoon sign just in case you needed to know where it was and on the underside is going to be lit by fluorescent strip lighting so yes that does exist in this day and age it's that horrible green fluorescent it's like a modern way of lighting stuff but as we know it nowadays it's proper jank and proper disgusting <laughs> oh look at that sight line from there i love it it's amazing um so for in the boat uh, boat area then so i've just thrown some boats down i don't think they're quite time accurate but they again they came from the workshop they're good enough and it's not a, a usable attraction anyway by the way in case you're wondering i did think about using the armada uh, boat ride but the actual footprint for it is way too big for what I wanted. So I actually binned it off and had a, an unusable one instead. But what I have done is I've put loads of foliage and stuff down. It doesn't really need theming. It doesn't need anything like extravagant. And I don't quite know how they would actually garden this area. But hey, it is what it is. Let's just, you know, deal with deal with what we've got. Kids pool, nothing much has changed here. It is still um, as it is, as we found it. And then, of course, I've just touched up all of the stuff around here. So we've got the seating area moving around. And we've just got a little bit of, like, um, rejigging going on. Some small signs for the Blue Lagoon. And then, of course, I finished off all of the Art Deco stuff. I did actually make the uh, the the temporary unit that we had, you know, the the hut that we had for the food. I made that part of the main building, so that's now actually connected to the main building, and it's all of the Art Deco, uh, all of the Art Deco style. I love. 
how this looks. It now looks so lido -y. It's unbelievable. Like, I'm chuffed. I'm really chuffed with how this one has turned out. Like, yeah. I don't often get to say, do you know what? That Chacho, that's a good build. I think this is a good build. You might not, but I do. <laughs> and then on the outside, uh, this is what I've done as well. Exactly this. Well, you've seen all this already, but I've tidied this up. Uh, the Blue Lagoon sign is now up and we are all good to go. Uh, so, yeah, it's all art deco -y. And I quite like how this is all squeezed in now. It's starting to feel a little bit claustrophobic as if they're going to run out of money. Now, of course, the park's going to expand into the wider area, right? So this is going to happen over time, uh, but it doesn't happen immediately. So they would be utilizing the space that they've got. By the way, don't you think this space would be good for a shoot the shoot just saying um so uh, the the dodgems now has uh stuff going on and spike i've used your sign in the intended way for the first time uh so yes but did give me the font and there are two elements to the font there's like the normal font and the shadow font i don't know if i'm using the right way around um because i'm a renegade and i don't like to follow instructions but i've done something that you intended to do with the font so there you go we'll, we'll cope with that but i wanted this to start that whole art deco almost 1960s feeling vibe with the with the dodge and sign um I wish I could do it bigger, but it's all fine. Uh, it's it's the scale of the building, not the scale of the sign that's the problem. And that's because of the scale of the dodgems underneath it. So uh, we'll live with it. It's got its roof. It's all happy. Um, it's all undercover. And then, of course, I just put some lighting and stuff around just to bring it to life. And we're all good. In this area, then, I've just put a garden down. I don't think it would be too much of a landscaped garden. It's just seeds and stuff they'd throw down it'd be a wild one you know how we did it over here uh where is it here where we were just like it's going to be a bit of a wild garden so it's the same thing around here remember this is the royal mile it started off as a gardens so it paid tribute to it being a gardens and it would grow and stuff over time and talking of growing and stuff over time do you remember back a couple of episodes ago when i said i was putting in the small trees and then over time they would grow into bigger trees well, this is the, cy the cypress or the poplar trees. Um, that's what I've done. So I've gone along and I've replaced all of the smaller trees with the bigger trees. Because, you know, we are now, what, uh, 1939. So we're eight years later? Nine years? Wait, wait, Chacho Maths. What are we now? 1947. Ten years later. So we're ten years later. Um, so, of course, they would have grown over that time. And that's what I've, uh, that's what I've done in this space. So elsewhere, I have... Finished off all of the pathing and stuff in this area. So this now has all of its pathing finished and, and, and whatever. So it's all good to go. Bit of gardening, a bit of stuff that's, that's happening. Uh, the games units are all games units. All I've done is I've just copied the stuff across from the other games units. I'm not doing too much effort with these because they are going to get torn out eventually. So... They're just there for the sake of being there uh, right now. I did toy with the idea of having a covered station here. Um, maybe it's something that they would do possibly in the 60s when they retheme the area again. Um, but for now, I just I've just kept it. I just kept it open. Our roto uh, plane thing now. Ha well, it's not a plane, is it? Our roto Ferris wheel thing is now. Oh, I don't even know what it is. Uh, if it's got a name anyway, it's called roto. And we've got a queue and we're all happy. So we're all good. Um, over in the Ferris wheel, colour change and um, some fencing and whatever that's been tied up. I think in the future what would happen is this Ferris wheel will be moved and it would become uh, flush with this key uh, with this key wall and it would open up the area ever so slightly the go-karts would probably go and something would come in here right so but for now this is what we're this is what we're doing uh, because we don't really have the ability to support the weight of the ferris wheel with the key and, and whatever so they push it back the go-kart has had its really monstrous uh <laughs> facelift it's disgusting and it's perfect. Um, and then on the underside here, all I've done is I've just put some um, flood lighting in and I've just tidied up the sheds and stuff that were on here. So it's no longer one long continuous building. It's actually been broken up for the sake of the uh, for the sake of the pillars. So it's really quite like hideous. And then up here, this is where the um, where the touching up and stuff needs to be done. So the Ferris wheel is now in place. Uh, I still need to do some work on it but it's it's in place that's where it's going to live and then of course our swift drifters now has a name it's the slider um and it's actually a neon sign um but it's a similar style sign to the dodgems it felt like that would kind of be like this the style of the area uh, and then of course I've, I've repainted it and given it a bit of a color scheme but i haven't done the fencing i've kept that the green because that's kind of similar to this up here right so they said oh we're going to color it that anyway so just 
keep the fences, uh, keep the fences that colour. So we are good to go. Um, so I don't think there's anything else to show you. I mean, you saw me put the uh, the stuff back in this area and the stuff back in this area. So that's now all sorted. So let me show you the reason that this is not done yet and why we do. But let's have a bit of a treat, a treat for getting this far into the video. Well done, you. Uh, where's my... <laughs> <laughs> God, patronising much. Uh, hang on, hang on. Where is it? There it is. So here's a bit of a look into the future. We have a coaster. Ta-da! That's what you're seeing. So, uh, yeah, that's our next episode. It's going to be a coaster that's going into that area. Now, what that means is the key wall and stuff needs to be brought around this way. I need to uh, reappoint the path that needs to go into a new alignment. Uh, but the railway is safe. The railway can stay uh, can stay where it is. Guys, this is the build for this week from the top. Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. Uh, it's not very often that people bother to watch non-roller coaster videos, right? So uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, this has been fun. Like, this is really starting to starting to come to life as a theme park now i can't i can't wait to burn the flying turns down uh, so oh controversial so guys thank you so much i will see you next week please look after yourselves take care bye